everybody. My name is Michael Bryant. I'm with Sony Creative Software, and we're here at IBC in Amsterdam, and we're taking a look at the brand new version of Vegas, Vegas Pro 10. In particular, we're taking a look at the 3D features available in this uh, brand new version of Vegas. Okay, so what we have here, the, the two monitor display, this is just your standard computer monitor. We're using that for editing on the timeline, viewing the preview, and perhaps anaglyphic. Over here we have a, uh, the new LMD 2451T uh, monitor from Sony, reference monitor, line alternate, and we're connected to the computer. Uh, we're using a black magic card going to the uh, monitor via HDSDI, and it gives us a really a, a beautiful picture. These are great monitors to work with uh, for referencing uh, video in general, but in particular, they work great for 3D. It's set it up so it's high definition, 1920 by 1080, 24 frames a second. And the next is to choose or, or let Vegas know what type of 3D project you're working in. I'm going to choose side by side half because in the end, we're going to be previewing it on this monitor over here, which accepts side by side content. And then click on OK. And then we'll simply go to the Explorer window and find some 3D content. So you'll see that these files are labeled L and R, L and R. That's because they were shot two different cameras in a rig to get the stereoscopic view. So I can just drag this down to the timeline. And there is, you know, at this point, we're just looking at, at uh, mono, you know, or one, one eye. Drag the other eye down and put it right below it. And at this point, we're still seeing just, you know, um, a regular 2D picture. But since I've set my project up to be 3D, I can select each of these and then right click on it. And you see there's a new tool that says Pair as Stereoscopic 3D Subclip. When I do that, it combines them both. And if you put your glasses on, you would now see that that's in 3D. So it's a pretty easy workflow. Now, you have the choice of how you want to view this. So for instance, let's say that uh, you know, this monitor is not capable of showing 3D. It's just a standard computer monitor. But it can show 3D if we change its mode to anaglyphic. So if I switch this to like uh, anaglyphic where you're wearing the glasses where one, one is red and one is cyan colored. Now you can start to see that ghosting of the red and the green. And if you were wearing the anaglyphic glasses, you could see 3D on this monitor. So we begin to see that we can set up each monitor independently. This one to be one style of 3D and this one to be another. And so we could carry on and add other clips to this, so we'll just add another one. This time I'm just going to select them both, use my right mouse button, drag it down here, and then just choose video only, add across tracks. So it adds them, again, select them both, and have them paired up into stereoscopic 3D. And from here, it's just like editing 2D. I can create a crossfade, I can trim it up, uh, you know, select a portion and play across it, and now I'm seeing in anaglyphic 3D on this screen and in side-by-side uh, -side line alternate on this screen and we're getting 3D in both views. But usually, <clears throat> since I have this 3D display, I don't need to see this in 3D as well. So it might be better in this case just to set this for one particular eye, so I'll choose the left eye. So that gives me a really nice view over here just for editing and then whenever I need to glance at this menu, uh, this uh, monitor for a 3D. So once you get done with your editing, and it's time to deliver this, choose File, choose Render As, and by default it's going to use the project settings, which means it's going to deliver it side by side. But I can go into Custom, go into Project, and I can use and deliver in any of these uh, formats. So I could deliver it once, and say like side by side full, go back and do another render and just do left eye only, and then I would have both a 3D version and a 2D version. And what I would like to show you next 
is a plugin we have specifically made for dealing with problem areas in 3D. For instance, if we uh, add another video track here and we want to put some text over the top of this 3D, well the text to begin with is just 2D. So if you were to look at the screen, it's just screen level flat 2D. But what we can do is add a brand new plugin called Stereoscopic 3D Adjust, and that enables us to adjust a lot of different things. If we look at all the tools available in here, we can adjust the horizontal offset, the vertical offset, zoom, keystoning, rotation. Uh, if, if the cameras were set in a, in a way so that one is flipped, we can flip it horizontally or flip it vertically so that the cameras are now aligned properly. And an autocorrect uh, button that will analyze both left and right eye at hundreds of different points and try to then align them for you. Now in the case of text, it stays uh, 3D, so I'm going to click on this so we can see the text. And then I'm just going to change the placement of the text sort of up here and to the right. And if we wanted to move the text back so it appeared behind these two propellers, we would just change the uh, horizontal offset. And this is kind of you know nice to have your glasses on so you can see the, the adjustment. And as we uh, increase this to a positive number, you can see it start to move back, or if we choose a negative number, it starts to move it out in front of the screen. So now that we've got it set at, you know, sort of like maybe like about minus 20, the text appears to be floating in front of the airplane. And as I move it in the positive direction, so let's say make it a positive 20 pixels, now it appears to be behind the uh, propellers. So we have the ability to, to rotate that text. We can even get more of a 3D effect by using our uh, track motion button and putting this track in 3D source alpha, giving it a little twist and uh, shrink it down a little bit here. And so now it seems to be behind the propellers and sort of moving in that direction. And it looks great when you have the glasses on to be able to see that 3D effect. Without the glasses, you can see it looks like it's two different pieces of text slightly overlapped. That's creating that parallax that when you put the glasses on, makes it look like it's in 3D. So, a couple of nice tools with track motion, a uh, couple together with our uh, 3D adjust plug-in gives you a lot of flexibility to adjust and correct for slight differences in your camera, whether it be zoom, rotation, uh, horizontal, or vertical uh, angles. So that's uh, pretty much in a nutshell the 3D workflow.